Since all the rains have begun in the valley, everything is so green, lush and beautiful, and all the creeks and dams are full of water for the dogs to play in. Morning friends, we're starting off on the bus this morning and I'm going to tidy up the whole back area as I have my coffee this morning so that when we get into the bus today, the plan is to finish off the last few wall and ceiling panels and then make a start on measuring, planning and then hopefully executing if our wood is dry enough, the area at the back which is going to be our bedroom. Really exciting stuff. There's a lot of shifting back and forward on this bus just because I've literally brought everything into here. <laughs> The other day I shared with you guys the compost toilet that I'm building for our bus. This has been such a fun project that has taken me a very long time and today I'm officially starting to get it to its finishing line. So today we decided on the size that we wanted the back area to be and how far away from the wall it would be. So I've been able to secure everything in place and start the process of making it super sturdy so that we don't fall down as we sit on it. Of course, this project did not come without many challenges and I had to enlist Sam in helping me along the way, which is fine and he was happy to help me with. In the meantime, you're not seeing what Sam is doing, but he's actually measuring out the final wall piece that we're going to need so that we can secure it in place together. Need my love to finish it off because I need a man. <laughs> you need a man. I need a man. I want a man. That's it. Did it! It's finished. Ready? Woohoo! <laughs> Get the poop out. Take it outside. Pull it back down. Next thing I need to figure out is the urine diverter. Yay! Look! <laughs> Go on, sit on it. I'm scared. Woohoo! <laughs> TMI. You sit on it. Now break it. What? The whole point is for it to not break. I know. I know. All right. Sam. You need to trust in my handiwork. It's solid. We're gonna want to figure out exactly where. Oh, wow. 
That's really good level. <laughs> yeah, well, I measured our toilet inside. Yeah. And then I think I added a little height because I considered you. Yeah. I want to have see. a go. Yeah, have a go, have a go. Come here, Kirby. Kirby, not your it's toilet. It's not, not for you. That's weird. Doesn't even need to have a toilet seat, actually. But... No, it's just weird wearing pants sitting on a toilet oh, seat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, this is the final jigsaw piece. <laughs> that is going to finish our walls. <laughs> Jigsaw it is. Sam has the camera still in the bus because he's going to continue working for a little while. But I'm going to get lunch ready. I'm going to have some of that leftover curry that we made the other day. And I've just added in some lentils to thicken it up. And also some prawns just to add a bit more meat to it. I'm also starting on dinner. I'm going to make my favorite eggplant dish, which we've made together before a few times. It's just fried eggplant with aioli and then tomatoes. <laughs> I'm also going to make some oven chicken wings with aioli on top of them. It's a recipe that dad's always made for us as kids and it's absolutely divine. And something new for me today, I'm actually going to make some jalapeno poppers. And those are going to be in the oven as well, as opposed to being crumbed as you might see them in um, like a restaurant or something. I just don't want to crumb and deep fry today. I want to keep it all in the oven, nice and healthy and fresh. So I'm excited to make those. To make the poppers, all I'm going to do is fry up some bits of bacon like I did the other day for the cob loaf. I'm going to mix those and some spring onion and garlic, salt and pepper through with some ricotta cheese. Before I stuff my poppers, I am going to cut them in half and de-seed them. The seeds are where all of the spiciness comes in, which is delicious, but we don't need, need it. It's going to be in the way of the ricotta cheese mix. And then yeah, once they're stuffed, a bit of cheese on top of that and then into the oven. While I stopped off to make food, Sam did continue building the wall. So he was in there measuring it out, finishing cutting it so that it fit. And then of course, all of the hundreds of screws that allow the piece to stay in place with all the jiggling of the bus. So closed in. <laughs> My map at the end. Oops. So dark now. We did end up stopping early for the day because it got really rainy and really hard to use our tools, but we also ran out of steam to be honest. We did end up going back onto the bus for one more little project, which was to hinge the storage area that we're creating underneath the bed. And I'll leave you there. I hope you're enjoying Vlogmas so far and we'll see you again tomorrow.